Now, see what is thermal conductivity. So, thermal conductivity of the solid is the measure of ability of the solid to conduct heat through it. So, we can define by this way, suppose you have taken this is your a cross section or you can say the wire which, which has got a square cr a cross section here is square one here, these two faces of this metal, this is at temperature T 1, this is at temperature T 2, here T 1 is greater than T 2, area of the faces is here that is A and the distance between these two faces here suppose delta x. When the delta q heat is given to this point, this is transferred to this point. So, see here when the heat is given at this phase, every part of the body or this you can say metal absorbs the heat, but after some time a steady state is obtained. It means each part of the this body gains a constant temperature not equal that means a constant temperature. It means the temperature of the each part of the body when it becomes constant then whatever the heat is given at this end that transfer to the another end. So, see here basically the rate of flow of heat or the rate of this whatever the heat is being transferred from one end to another end that can be written delta Q upon delta T that is time is directly proportional to change in temperature, is directly proportional to area and inversely proportional to the distance between the two phases. When you combine these two, you will be getting this delta Q upon delta T is equal to K A into delta T divided by delta x. See here the k is known as here coefficient of thermal conductivity and now delta T is here the change in temperature and here the T 1 to T 2 that is here simply T 1 minus T 2. Delta x is also the distance between the two phases and here we are assuming no heat is being transferred uh, or lost to the surrounding through the other phases of this solid except these two phases. So, when heat is being given it is directly being transferred from this phase to this phase there is no loss of heat from other phases. So, this is the rate of simply the flow of the heat through this metal. Now, see here delta Q upon delta T is equal to K A delta T upon delta X we have derived this relation just now. Now, see here if you take A is equal to 1, delta T upon delta X is equal to 1, then you can write delta Q upon delta T is equal to K. Thus, coefficient of thermal conductivity of solid is equal to the rate of flow of heat per unit area per unit temperature gradient across the solid. So, this by this way you can define coefficient of thermal conductivity. Now, see here what is the unit of coefficient of thermal conductivity? We can write K is equal to delta Q divided by delta T upon here we can write A into delta T by delta X. This can be written joule per second divided by meter square into Kelvin per meter. This, this will get cancelled. So, we will be getting what per meter per Kelvin or you can write per degree Celsius. So, this is the unit of coefficient of thermal conductivity. Now, see here in this formula delta Q upon delta T is actually the rate of flow of heat and here K into A delta T upon delta X. We know it also I is equal to V upon R and also I is equal to Q upon T. So, rate of flow of the charge through the conductor or a given unit cross section area is known as electric current. Similarly, here this is the rate of flow of heat through the solid is known as thermal current. This can be written in this form also. So, delta Q upon delta T is equal to delta T that is a temperature difference upon delta X upon K A. So, this can be compared to this, this is I here. So, this is here I thermal current, 
this is potential difference here V, this is the temperature difference, this is R here that is called resistance, so this is also here comparable to the resistance. So, this is actually analogous to the simply the electric resistance. So, we can write here thermal resistance is equal to delta x upon k into a. 